income uh, is high, but the infrastructure is not there. That's why uh, uh, the price of chicken in that particular area also very expensive. Uh, I may share with you in Java, to raise one uh, kilogram of live chicken, it costs around 1.1 to 1.2 US dollar. But the, the price of live chicken in Papua, it can be $10. $10. And, and Papua is actually a very rich area, uh, but the infrastructure is not there. So the problem with Indonesia is the infrastructure and the distribution of wealth. One of uh, the problem we are facing now, uh, rupiah, like now, rupiah, which is the Indonesian currency, is become like a commodity. Uh, as you know, 50% uh, of our costs in, in raising the chicken, we still rely on the import product. Uh, soybean meal, 100% we import from overseas. Uh, all the medicine and all, most of the meal we still import from overseas. So if the rupiah value is weakening, it add up the cost of raising chicken in Indonesia. And the problem in Indonesia, uh, the, the demand of chicken is really, really sensitive to the volatility of the price. But you see, uh, uh, when our reserve uh, in July 2008, about 60 million US dollars is more number for a country like Indonesia because uh, the rest of our reserve probably is uh, being, being hold overseas because in, you know, most of the company when they export and then some of the money for tax and uh, because the tax uh, in Indonesia is very expensive, they, 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 they deposit the money in Singapore in other part, other part of the world. So that's why the reserve uh, is not that much. That's why this is make uh, the currency a bit volatile in Indonesia. Uh, I give you the example here. In January 2008, the currency, uh, I mean the reserve, uh, uh, 55 billion US dollar. But when the rupiah uh, weakened, the central bank tried to intervene by buying rupiah. They sell their dollar, the currency immediately down to 50 million US dollar. Uh, the other chart is just to give the spread uh, between uh, interest rate for uh, loan and for deposit. This is the chart uh, between Indonesia import and export. Uh, Indonesia should have more reserve if you see from the chart, but uh, most of the money we, we, we save it in our country. This is the inflation. Last year, the price of chicken is very high. That's why the demand is very low, uh, mainly because of the inflation due to the price of commodity and the price of oil. But if you see, even during the last crisis, the recent crisis, uh, while other country uh, has almost no growth or negative growth, Indonesia still have 4% of growth, meaning the potential, the consumption is there. This is Indonesian poultry industry. Uh, currently, we still uh, under capacity. If you see, uh, our feed mill capacity is around uh, 12 million ton a year, but uh, our production only 7.8 million ton a year. So we consume uh, corn half of it. It's around 3.5 to 4 million ton a year. Uh, our DOC production right now only 25.8 million, while if we see from the number of hatchery installed, we are supposed to have a capacity of 43 million DOC per week. And then if we see from the number of uh, GPS imported, we still import GPS uh, mainly from US, uh, we are supposed to produce a DOC of uh, 33 million DOC uh, per week. And then in terms of corn, because 
of uh, corn price is good now. Ever since uh, everybody start using the corn for uh, bioenergy, so it gives incentive to Indonesian farmer to grow corn. Because before uh, 2005 in Indonesia, the price of corn is around uh, locally in Indonesia is around hundred dollar to hundred twenty dollar a ton. Now the uh, it was uh, four hundred dollar a uh, a ton uh, mid last year, but now the price of corn is around uh, uh, 200 to 230 uh, dollar a ton. While while the cost of I mean the price while the cost of uh, raising the corn in Indonesia for every farmer is around 800 rupiah per kilo, which is uh, 80 US dollar uh, per ton, something like that. So it gives the incentive for the farmer to grow the corn. But the problem uh, with the agriculture in Indonesia, we don't have good post-harvest infrastructure. Some of the farmer has eaten, our productivity is still very low. It's around average nation, nationwide, it's around three kilogram, three ton per hectare, sorry, three ton per hectare. While uh, some part like in Gorontalo, while uh, we already use a good seed and good fertilizer, it can reach up to uh, seven to eight uh, ton per hectare. But nationwide average still uh, three, kilog three ton per hectare. The reason why the farmer doesn't want to use uh, like uh, uh, best pr uh, farming practice because we don't have much in uh, post harvest infrastructure. So for the farmer, there is no added value if their productivity increase because the price will be down because we don't have enough uh, post harvest infrastructure. This is our benchmark, uh, 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 the growth based on 2004 production. If you see, the growth of our DOC production is close to 50%, while the growth of uh, egg, feed, and broiler meat is much less than that. Part of it, uh, uh, because you know, in Indonesia, again, even in, in, in chicken, we don't have much uh, post-harvest infrastructure. More than 90% of the chicken, we still sell it in the form of live bird. The problem, the demand always, always volatile every year, you know. In Indonesia, normally, if during the new calendar of school or, or certain month, the demand down by 20%. And during the season like now, where, where Lebaran is coming, the demand uh, increased by 20%. So the difference between low season and high season in Indonesia in terms of demand, uh, could be 40 percent, while the production of chicken is still the same. That's why we are not efficient. So all the uh, company like us has to uh, produce more. So we, uh, during the good time, uh, we we still can get the the margin, and during the hard time, we got no choice but not to hedge the egg. That's why if you see, uh, there is a gap between the old chick and the feed and and the meat. And in 2000. Eight, though the feed is increasing, but, but the meat is not increasing as much as the feed because the price of chicken at that time was very, ex the cost of chicken is very expensive. So the price of chicken will be, uh, at that time was very expensive also. So the farmer grow the chicken at less weight. Normally we grow at 1.8 kilogram per uh, live bird. Uh, during that time, the average uh, farmer grow only 1.2 kilogram because Otherwise, people can afford to buy chicken. Despite of idle capacity, every company is still expanding uh, their, uh, their feed meal, their uh, breeding, and everything. I don't know whether they are really uh, a positive thinking businessman or they are, they are dreamer, but every year uh, they are keep expanding. Uh, our company 